What's up everyone and welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Today we are going to be talking about the Mass Saiyan event. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks to go through this. I'm also going to be showing you what I think is the best way to do this with non-optimal team. Now, a really good way to actually do this is to use Super Strength because Super Saiyan 4 Goku can pretty much negate all of the important things that this event does. So, there's three things that you really have to worry about in this event. One, Bardock or Mass Saiyan hits really ridiculously hard even on a 120% team. Two, you are going to get randomly stunned for almost no reason. It's part of the what's built into the event. It is something that Bardock can do to you on the first stage and the last stage. There's only three stages of this event. And third, there is a stage where you have to fight multiple people. And so Super Saiyan 4 Goku can wipe out very quickly these three people because of how much damage he does also there's damage reduction passive which means you need to have like a super hard hitter anyway just inherently because Bardock's defense is super high and you can't lower it like traditionally so I'm gonna show you guys the way that I think is the best to beat this or the team that I think is the best to beat this with that's not the most optimal team because there's a lot of setups you can use for this event you can use cooler you can use Super Saiyan 4 Goku you can use Kid Buu would probably be the best just because Int on tech, but we're going to be doing a variation of that in this video if I can find the leader really quick, and if not, I will be right back. Alright, that actually didn't take me too long. This is the man that we are going to use for this video, and we are going to be using 70% Int. It's not exactly 70% Int because he is 90%. I don't have an LR Gohan, by the way. This is a total random guy on my guest list that had this. I used a bunch of them up that were on my friend. I had like four or five that were on my friends list inherently, but I used them all up, so I was hoping there would be one available. So this is going to be the team we're rolling with for now anyway. I'm going to be using Buhan, Goku Jr., Trunks, Piccolo. These guys, these aren't in any order, and it's actually going to bother me, but LR Piccolo, Turles, and Vegeta mostly going to be, it's going to be LR Gohan and Trunks, obviously, for orb changing purposes, and then I'm going to probably put I don't know who I want to put together after that. We'll see how the we'll see how the game bears itself out, honestly, because I don't really know what I even want to do. So let's get into this. So like I said, this is gonna be the best way probably to go about this because there's two stages that are pure tech, and even in the second stage, two out of the three enemies you're gonna face are tech. So this is actually a really good key run, honestly. Two out of the three enemies in stage two are gonna be tech, so uh, Int is just the best way to do this defensively. You are going to face a physical card during the second phase, but we'll talk about that when we do get there because it's not really a big deal, honestly. So like I said, Kid Buu is probably, in terms of HP, the best way to go about this. We do not currently have Gogeta. Otherwise, I would just say run Gogeta and you would just wallop this event. That's probably going to be the case once Gogeta comes out just because Gogeta is going to hit super hard, and you can run an LR Gohan friend and be perfectly fine. So... Let's see where LR going is at. Alright, so we need to rotate out Trunks this turn. So let's actually put you first. We'll put Goku Jr. first. I didn't need to give him all that key. Uh, yeah, because now I won't... I'm not going to get a super... Well, I will get a super attack with Trunks, actually. I just won't be able to uh, nuke with Trunks. My Trunks is only an SA2. So this, this video is really going to show you that you can just solo with LR Gohan and be perfectly fine. So you don't even have to worry about... As long as you have some sort of leader... Not even necessarily an int leader, but a leader that gives you some type of key. Pretty much just run LR Gohan as a friend, and you will be able to do just fine in this event. And then run really decent, like, defensive units or units that you think can be really good. So, that would be my advice. Alright. So, we got LR Gohan paired up with Piccolo, which is good, I guess. So, let's actually put you first, and you can finish this off. Then we can make LR Piccolo feel good. Uh, actually might not. I probably should have saved those in orbs for Gohan, but well, we might kill him right here. It's going to be kind of close. I don't know if I gave him enough because obviously our Gohan is a nuker, so I don't know if I quite gave him enough. The key I would say to this though, all right, perfect. The key I would say to this though is to, if you're running our Gohan, is to just, uh, is to run an orb changer of any type because it doesn't really matter and then pair him with the orb changer because he gets key sphere, he gets attack plus key sphere for every key sphere, not even just his own type. Like Trunks is his own type, LR Gohan is not. So that's the easy first stage. He very much just has four health bars. He doesn't hit all that hard at this point still. It's about 100k or so, which should be expected. So here we go. We got Mira and Toa. 
And so you're gonna have to face Fizzmira. This is gonna be the part where it gets a little bit tricky because as you can see, you're gonna be in a situation where you are dealing with multi-attacks in a constant. So I guess the best thing to do right now, actually let's put Vegeta first, he's a better defender. It screws up links, but we're not going to get super attacks this turn anyway, so... Let's just try to get a little bit of damage in on Mass Saiyan, because he has the most health during this phase. And we'll try to keep reds and purples kind of on the ground together. Alright, let's do this. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Alright, so we'll try to wipe out Mass Saiyan first, like I said. I actually think I'll heal next turn, just to be safe. Not that I think we're, like, in any sort of danger, but... You're going to want to chip away at Mass Saiyan... Then you're going to want to wipe out Fizz Mira, and then you're going to go for Toa last, because Toa is the one you should worry about the least. She hits pretty hard, I would say. She does about, like, 70-80k if you don't have blocking advantage, but at the same time is uh, still really solid. This is going to be great. I don't, I'm actually interested to see how high the meter gets right here. And then you can actually get Fizz or some in orbs too. Alright, perfect. I said I was going to heal, and then I totally didn't do that. Alright, so here you can see, we blocked that 27k, it's still good though, so keep that in mind. I'm actually a little bit scared of dying at this point. Hopefully we don't get super attacked after. Well, hopefully we actually wipe out Mass Saiyan right here, because if not, then I will probably die. No, we definitely did enough. Oh, but I forgot Fizz Mira was there. <laughs> That's bad. Alright, maybe we can... Uh, well, we got LR Piccolo, too. LR Piccolo's... Oh, I thought he was tagging LR Piccolo for some reason. Alright, never mind. My bad on that. Alright, so... We'll do this. I want Buon. Hey, you right there. I don't really want Buon and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta together, just because they're not great as a pairing. But I do like that option better than most of my cards, because obviously you guys have seen this team plenty of times. It's kind of weak. Oh, I attacked Fizz... I didn't attack Fizz Mira, though. I'm going against my own word. Whatever. We got um, Toa wiped out. Maybe Vegeta can kill Mira. I might have these names totally backwards, also, because I'm not super familiar with Xenoverse, so if I do, I completely apologize. And this isn't going to be very pretty. Oh, never mind. I forgot he can stun. Well, actually, yeah, okay, he did stun him. Alright, so what do we want to do here? I think I'll actually put you first. You'll wipe out him, no problem, even without all that extra key, so I'm not really worried. I just wanted to make sure I got the right cards on rotation for the last turn, because the last turn has, I think, nine health bars. So, this is pretty straightforward. This is going to be the, the phase that gives you the most difficulty if you do run a team like this, or even just in general, if you don't have a LR Broly or something, where you could just quickly wipe out all three Oppon or opponents and do the most damage so it's going to be a little bit time consuming alright I'm actually going to put Piccolo on rotation right here so we'll do a Piccolo Buhan rotation and yeah, I actually like the sound of that quite a bit so because just because of all this tanking right here so this is going to be an annoying part I don't know if it will show in this video but during this phase Mass Saiyan can attack like 10 times and he'll spread it out usually which puts you in a kind of a a pickle but it should be pretty set right here honestly I'm not super concerned as it stands I'm actually this is gonna be really stupid actually let's not do that I was gonna say I'm not gonna give you your super attack but I can still I can still do what we want to do actually all right here's what we'll do we'll give you that and then next turn trunks is gonna change those reds to purples and oh with the dodge Right, Trunks is going to change those reds to purples, and then I will put Trunks first instead of LR Gohan, even if he doesn't get a super attack. Just because I'm more worried about LR Gohan, obviously. And if you have your own LR Gohan, then this event's even going to be even more retarded for you, honestly. So, you won't even really need to... Ooh, I forgot. Yep, never mind. I don't even need to worry about it this turn. See, this at least throws a little bit of spice in here. So, uh, yeah, you have the highest defense just inherently, so let's put you in the middle anyway. We will save those purple orbs still. It doesn't really matter. I actually probably could have used them on Trumps. But actually, let's do this because we can drop these blues. And then we'll be in an even better situation for the turn after next. So that's still pretty decent. And we're still... Well, no, we're not going to get the Ultra Super. He does. This guy doesn't have a dupe into his LR going. I still haven't used an LR going with a dupe, so he definitely doesn't have additionals. 
So that's gonna be it. Yeah, it'll still hit him for like 200 or 150k almost though, which is crazy for a normal attack. Not the highest, but still. And let's see, did we get the stun? We did get the stun. All right, so don't have to worry about defense right here. And just because since Buhan got stunned, there's really no reason to even attack normally. So let's just do this and set up an optimal, optimal key path for uh, for LR going next turn. Because LR going might be able with that much int key to finish off completely. Also, we might get a Dokkan mode here, which would be really dope. All right. So let's do this and this. We aren't. I don't think we're gonna quite get the Doka mode though. And we did. All right. I have not gotten a Doka mode yet. So this will definitely one shot or not one shot because he's already got a little bit of health gone. But this will definitely finish off the party right here. And as you can see, our Gohan pretty much just solo this event. This is still an event that's really beatable with a 70% team or just a team where you can solo with one card pretty much. If you can't run Int, then just, I would say, spread on like a Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, or even just a card that gives plus 3P, like I think the new Bardock, the Strength Bardock, does, but obviously you'd be playing this event to Dogon Awaken this, so it wouldn't really matter. There we go. All done. But there's plenty of cards at this point in the game that give you a key lead that's for all types. If you pulled Mass Saiyan, just use him as his default, don't even Awaken him, and it's all types, and you'll be set. Just, you're going to want to run an, a friend LR Gohan or your own LR Gohan, and that's just going to be what you want to do. Pretty much the best way to beat this, or at least I think the best way to beat this that is for you attainable. Because as you can see, I did it without having a personal version of it myself. I also did it with one of my weaker teams. This event really helps you out in the way that it is mostly the phase. It is mostly the same type of phase for the most part. As I said, the only time that you're going to have to worry about type disadvantage if you use it is going to be in the second phase when you fight that fizz mira every other event or every other enemy in this entire event is tech so you're always going to be at a type advantage from that perspective anyways you can tell my allergies are flaring up so i'm going to end this video thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed let me know if this helped you out at all let me know if i missed anything that is worth pointing out because i don't think i went over cards that i don't think there are any cards that specifically help this event out i think it's just all these though yeah he just has a built-in defense reduction or excuse me a damage reduction passive so anyway that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more dragon ball z don't come battle